hope you all are doing great so in today's session we're gonna cover uh, regular expressions interview questions so i have divided uh, this topic into three parts uh, easy questions uh, hard level questions and uh, medium level questions okay so let's begin with easy uh, questions first okay so uh, okay so before starting uh, regular expressions interview questions so i will just uh, i will i will ask you uh, to go through this link i will uh, i will put this in description you can go through it okay this is uh, w3 schools okay and here uh, you can you can find uh, expressions okay meta characters and then uh, quantifiers right i i can uh, go through it at a very high level okay but you can also have a look okay whenever you have some time so uh, these are uh, expressions if you see starting with the square brackets okay so what does it mean it means find one character from the options between the brackets so it can accept a or b or c only one character but inside whatever you have mentioned here out of these okay so if you are um, you know if this is your regular expression for d it won't find because d is not there right i hope you got it similar um, similar way uh, like you can see this one the only difference is here uh, you can see one symbol which is caret okay so this is nothing but a note note symbol so find one character not between the brackets so if you are finding d and if you are uh, you know if this is your regular expression then it will give you your value like true value it will find the match because it means this regular expression means it character one character and it can be anything but not a or b or c okay similar way you can see this is for digits we are defining the range okay 0 to 9 but again one character i hope this is clear okay so now coming to meta characters you can see pipe dot caret right uh, dollar okay and forward slash t forward slash s and forward slash b so if you see the pipe find a match for any of the patterns separated by pipe and uh, cat dog and fish so this is nothing but a kind of or okay we have or right so kind of or we have and dot dot means just one instance of any character caret uh, we use uh, you know it finds a match as the beginning of a string so we use at the beginning okay and this is we use at the end of the string dollar symbol forward slash uh, d right so it means a digit forward slash s it means a white space character and forward slash b it means uh, you know beginning of a word like if you want to start with word and if we do not have anything before that and we want to start from there so we can just add uh, forward slash b i hope this is clear and you know you can go through it and okay uh, we left with quantifiers so quantifiers we have these plus asterisk question mark and then curly brackets okay plus is nothing but so quantifiers defines quantities okay so as, as you can see here quant quantities right so plus means at least one okay it means one or more times asterisk means zero or more times you can see here zero or more times at least one time question mark means zero or one time okay and curly bracket so this is exact x times okay this is exact x times whatever you mention here this is minimum range and maximum range x and y okay and here we are defining minimum range but we are not defining the maximum range so at least x time right 
and maximum we are not defining and here it should be x to y minimum x y max y okay i hope this is clear you can go through this link uh, this website i will share the link in the description you can go through it and get some idea okay all right let's begin with the questions and then i will uh, you know uh, show you the code show you the java code for all the questions so these are easy questions which we are uh, targeting here in this uh, session and then later on as i said i will be covering medium level and hard level also okay so let's begin so uh, this is the first question write a regular expression for 10 digit phone number starting with 9 okay so what what we know here so as per uh, you know by looking at this question what we uh, got like what the information we got so we got like we need 10 10 digit phone number and it should be starting with 9 okay so the first digit we know 9 right and other 9 can be anything right this is what we know right so first digit is 9 and second uh, other 9 can be anything so if you see bracket first is 9 and then uh, other bracket we define the range square bracket we define the range 0 to 9 and we, this time for 0 to 9 we define the quantifier right 9 for the first one we don't have to define the quantifier because it's only one right so I hope this is clear so this is first character and these are 9 characters 0 to 9 range and quantify we have defined 9 right okay let's move forward to the next question write a regular expression for 10 digit phone number starting with 8 or 9 so again this is very very similar uh, only difference is here we have uh, you know one condition like first digit can be anything uh, can be 8 or 9 right not anything okay so if you see for the first character for the first digit we define the range it can be 8 or 9 so we are defining the range we are not mentioning quantifier because this is single digit right and then for the next 9 digit we have to define the quantifier and range right 0 to 9 and quantifier 9 I hope this is clear too okay let's move forward uh, write a regular expression for 10 digit phone numbers starting with 98 so now we have two uh, starting two digits okay 98 it should not start with any other digit uh, other than um, you know 98 right and other eight uh, last eight digits can be anything so starting two uh, digits uh, cannot be uh, other than 98 right so if you see the first digit we mention 9 second digit we mention 8 and then for the next 8 digit we define the range and then the quantifier okay move on to the last one uh, define a regular expression for uh, 10 digit phone number and the number should not start with 8 or 9 so this time we have a not condition okay so they have mentioned like it should not start with 8 or uh, 9 okay and the total digits we have 10 so if you see I am using a caret symbol again the range is 8 to 9 only the first character right so 8 to 9 range and caret symbol only one character so we don't have to define range or we don't have to uh, you know create one more uh, uh, I mean digit and then after that for the next nine digit we have to define the range and then the quantifier how many digits are remaining like how many times we need this range nine times right because the first one is this one first digit is this logic um, let me highlight this one so this is first digit and these are last line right okay i hope this is clear let's move on to the code now 
okay so i have written this code uh, just now so if you see i will just give you uh, some background so uh, if you see here uh, i'm defining two strings one is this is nothing but a regular expression so let me take the first example yeah so first example i have pasted okay and number let me start with that okay and i have created one method validate i am passing uh, these two arguments there okay and and then if you see i am using compile method of pattern class okay so it defines a pattern if you see the it returns the uh, you know uh, it returns the given regular expression compiled into a pattern okay this is what i said right and then matcher matcher uh, is again a class we used to uh, search for the pattern if you see uh, it returns a new matcher for this pattern right and here we are passing string and here we are passing regular expression so it will compile the regular expression into a pattern uh, this compile method right and then again we have one more method matches uh, it is present in matcher class and this is of boolean type okay and uh, if you see if it is true i am printing it's a valid number if it is not true i am printing it's uh, it is invalid number so i hope this is clear so we just gonna change these two values and let's see the output okay so in first case uh, find a regular x write a regular expression for 10 digit phone number starting with 9 so starting with 9 and these are 10 digit number if you see so it should print is a valid number okay let's run it it's a valid number right okay if i change this to 8 it will print a it is invalid number okay let's try this it is invalid number right and other thing i just wanted to show you is if i uh, you know increase the length instead of 10 digit i can make you know 12 digit it should fail invalid number right because the length is 11 now okay i hope this is clear let's move on to the next okay so here it can either start from 8 or 9 okay so this should pass right valid number this is a valid number but if i change this to 7 it will say it is invalid number right let's uh, talk about this one only only 98 starting with 98 is acceptable so this one we're gonna try so if you see uh, 98 right and if i put 89 it will fail i mean it will show uh, you know it is invalid number let's give it a try it is invalid but if i make 98 then it will say it is valid it is valid right okay this is uh, good now the last one uh, is 
it should not start with 8 or 9 okay so if you start with so right now if you see it is starting with 9 so it will say it is uh, invalid number and then we're gonna change it to 7 or something it is invalid because if you see the first digit is in the regular expression we are defining it like it should not be 8 or 9 it can be anything but not 8 or 9 so if i say 7 it will pass it will say uh, this is a valid number because the first digit is neither 8 nor 9 right so let's try yes uh, that's all for today and uh, i will be uploading the you know a medium level interview questions maybe tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow i will be uploading hard uh, hard level regular expressions bye for now thanks thanks for watching my video